Hi ladies, it's Kayla again from Stampin' Up. Um, I'm going to be making this card today. Um, the only thing I haven't used from Stampin' Up are the little baubles you see here. Uh, before I came a Stampin' Up demonstrator, I was a stamper. And I found these in a little box today and I thought they were too pretty not to use. But everything else is basically... And most of them, my stamp here and my stamp inside is from Stampin' Up. My stars are from Stampin' Up. Um, the card stuck's from Stampin' Up. I'll give you the measurements. We've got eight, four and an eight by eleven, scored at five and a half. Um, my basic grey then is five and a quarter by three and seven eight, uh, which I've already stuck down because I would have just shown me how to do that anyway in the beginning so I'm going to put that to one side. I've also got a piece of 5 by 3 and 5 eighths Whisper White cardstock and a piece of vellum uh, the same size and I put it to my star embossing folder and uh, this is going to lay on top like a stained glass window after I've put my stamps down. I've used the Wishing You a Sweet Season from Ho Up Fun and the Ho 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 on the front. So I'll be showing you how I'm going to put them on right now. I'll set this bed onto one side. I'm going to I'm going to get my card actually and stamp the sentiment inside. Like I say, girls, we've got we and ladies and gentlemen, which I must point out, there are some wonderful gentlemen stampers out there. Um. We've all had things we bought before we became Stampin' Up demonstrators, so use them. That's what they're there for. Um, like I say, we've stamped that now, leave that to dry, pop that onto one side. And now I'm going to stamp on my little baubles. Absolutely sweet as hell. Love them. Like I say, I found them today. So I thought I did a card. I've done about four today, actually. And I think this one's turned out the best, so I'm going to show you how I make this one. I'm using my uh, basic wax ink from Stampin' Up. It's just so cute and very detailed as well. I love these stamps. I'm going to stamp off a minute because I need the block, which if I'm stamping up, <laughs> might I add, I bought mine all in one go. It, you save 10, 10 or 15% that way, it's a hell of a lot cheaper. So, uh... oh, boo boo. I'm going to turn over and do it again. Oh, oh well, this is why we don't... Uh... This is why we don't stick it down until after we get it perfect. <laughs> perfect. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Oh, it's nice when you've stamped off. I'll go back to my other stamp now. Um, just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going away on Tuesday the 18th of October and I'll be back on the 1st of November but there is a promotion on as you know with the designer series paper from Stampin' Up you buy three you get one free and if you buy a stamp set at the same time I will send you a packet of five um, Christmas cards that I made the other day or you can have the five of these that I made today as a bonus so you're gonna get a free you're gonna get free paper you're going to get uh, a, a lovely nice little stamp set of your choice obviously because you'll be the one buying it and you're also going to get a pack of five Christmas cards off me to give out as you wish friends, family, teachers um, your doctor's receptionist keep them on the good side get your appointments in <laughs> anyone you want to share them with actually so that's my uh my Christmas goodwill gesture to you for this October, which, uh, like I say, ends the 31st. 
anyone that's placed an order with for the DSP and the stamp set in that month will receive five packs, uh, five Christmas cards off me. And now we're going to attach the vellum. Oh no, we're not. We're going to stamp the ho ho ho. See, mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. I'm going to try to squeeze the head, but I'm going to try and get this in. Lovely. I'm going to stamp twice, and then the third one I'm going to stamp again without inking it. I just stamp, stamp, stamp on the first one, but I don't think you can see the bottom ones are good, so this is why I stamped, inked, stamped, and then stamped off which is a lot more detail on the bottom. So, I need that to dry for a second. Um, there is a way, these are popping up, but I'm going to glue this side and have it down. I like the indentation going down, because these little stars I've got here fit in there perfectly, and it feels like it's slot inside the... The actual star there with my star so give me two seconds and I'll just steer this down for you. I'm gonna line this up now. And it also makes it look like a little stained glass window effect. Or a frosted window. Oh, I've, just, I've cut it a little bit short there, but don't worry about that whatsoever. Look how nice that is. You can see the stars. You can see the frostiness. You can also see the details stamps underneath. I think that's really cute. And while I've got it off, I'm going to put some... Uh, I'm going to lift it up a bit. Put some... Uh, I've got some rubber pads here while I'm waiting for my dimensions to come. Which again, I found in a box that I found laying about today. So I thought I might as well use them up. Press down. Easier to peel. Corners turn up. And they come off so easy. Because I've got no nails at the moment. And I've dropped it. Two seconds. There we go. So I'm going to stand this up on the card. It looks better that way, I think, as well. Look how quick that's going together. Pull my chair back in. Because I have a really, really poorly back. And I can't stand up for long. So, I'm going to attach some of these little red jewels, which again I found. It just adds a pop of colour on there, I think. Um, now, I need some of this to red. going to wrap it around those two fingers. I think that gives a nice little loop then. I'm to cut my circulation off. <laughs> Don't worry about the ends. We can trim them in a minute. Right, I'm going to get it glued up now. it off and I'm going to attach that there and wrap it round as best I can. There we are. I'm going to trim this up while I'm here and then I'm going to put that where the ball board is on there. And she doesn't want to stick. <laughs> so 
And now I'm going to put another little gem on. Cover that glue dot on it. I'll also keep this gem on as well. Tidy it up a little bit. And there we have it. How? Oh no, I forgot my little stars. How dull am I? Getting carried away myself. But if you notice, they they just fit perfect in the stars there. I'm gonna add one there. And the little ones, they fit as well in these. Uh, I'm gonna put one there. One more right there. How quick was that? You could pop these out as fast as hell. Lovely little glimmer. You could also, if you fancied a bit more colour, get your marker pens, colour the baubles in. But I think it looks nice, just like that. So there you have it, it's stamped inside. And that one. And how long did that take? Preparation. Uh, like I say, a nice little, it looks like a frosted window. And we've also left this bit up, like on this one. It just gives it more dimension, I think. Well, thanks for what I will put my name up and the links to my shop so we can take advantage of the D DSP offer and the stamp set and the free Christmas cards. Um, I will also put the hostess code up there as well. So again, you need to uh, apply that uh, on your order form. And like I say, I will be back in November with more videos. Um, I may do another one tomorrow night just to keep everyone interested uh, but thanks for watching a nice thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and the card and i'll catch you next time thanks again